Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another Table Talk. So in, in this video, uh, I'm going to sort of be talking about speed controllers, motors, props, that sort of stuff. But one of the main reasons, uh, driving factors why I'm doing this video, and I did a series of uh, field test videos, is I do get asked quite regularly um, if people can use certain uh, quad motors with the uh, Turnigy Plush 40 amp speed controller, this, uh, this little beauty right here. Uh, Turnigy Plush, uh, they've been around for quite a while. Uh, they're one of the most durable, popular uh, speed controllers around. Um, they're actually, uh, when I bought mine, uh, I know it's going to be very hard for you to see, but it's uh, version 3.1 firmware, and I think the ones they sell now are version 4.2. Uh, and the last time I actually bought one of these uh, was probably about four years ago, and I only paid 17, around 17 dollars for it. Now they're up around, uh, what did I mark down here, 24.39 US. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> they are, uh, you know, just an awesome speed controller. Uh, I've been running them for years until, you know, sort of the last two years when I really started to experiment with quad racing motors uh, and, you know, just squeezing the absolute maximum amount of uh, power out of my park jets. So uh, what I did was I, I sort of picked, uh, when I did my sort of uh, wrap up of uh, testing quad racing motors, which I've been playing around with for about two years, um, I, I sort of have three different categories, uh, sort of my top five, uh, you know, best motors, uh, the Emax 2306 here, that was uh, in the top five. Uh, this is the uh, B-Rotor Z 2207 2780. Uh, this is sort of in the middle of the pack, and the middle of the pack were chosen that way, uh, sort of for price and also for performance, but this is definitely sort of at the top end of the... Um, middle of the pack and is also very reasonably priced and the last one was the uh, is the bud uh, uh, my my number one choice for budget value <coughs> pardon me for a quad racing motor in park jets and this is the racer star br2406 uh, 2600 uh, kv motor uh, so uh, one of the things i was experimenting with i did uh, quite a bit of bench testing and then field testing with this uh, uh, Turnigy Plush uh, on uh, the three different timing settings. It's a low, low, middle, or high. Factory default is low, and 99.9% .9 of motors that I've ever used with the Turnigy Plush, I've just left it on low. And <clears throat> in the bench testing, uh, there's very, actually very little difference between uh, low, medium, and high um, uh, performance-wise. Uh, but at the field, uh, what I did find, um, probably the main difference is the throttle response. So, you know, if you're really wanting to squeeze uh, the best acceleration and that sort of thing out of your, your motor, uh, the high timing seems to work really, really well. Now, as I may have mentioned in other videos, uh, I experimented with, with uh, timing with you know the very inexpensive 2212, 2200 and uh, 2700 motors and they did not like anything other than low timing uh, what would happen <clears throat> excuse me is the motor would uh, skip it would surge it would uh, <clears throat> pardon me it felt like it was desyncing you know uh, I never lost touch wood I never lost a plane that way but I just didn't have a whole lot of confidence uh, I'm, I'm happy to report that all three of these motors, uh, you know, a little better quality motors, not a single problem at all. I've run them uh, through dozens of flights and I've run them very hard. I mean, I, you know, didn't, I'm not shy with the throttle. Uh, so, uh, and I haven't had an issue at all with them desyncing or surging or losing power uh, or anything else. So I'm not going to get too deep into, um, <clears throat> you know, all the, the, watts and amps and all that sort of stuff. I'm just going to talk mostly about uh, field performance. Now, <clears throat> I have run this uh, Emax and this, uh, well actually I've run all three of them on this Turnigy AE45 amp speed controller, which is a really good speed controller and is actually cheaper than the Turnigy Plush. But I think other than with this motor, the 2600, which uh, pulls less amps, uh, it's not really suitable for the other ones for 4S. So what I'm looking at here is 
you know, if, if you were wanting to experiment or you already had a Turnigy plush, uh, what sort of settings uh, and props and motors and things like that. Uh, that way you can just leave one speed controller in your plane, uh, you know, put it through 4S battery in there, change the prop and uh, away you go. Um, <clears throat> so they all uh, work better, a little bit better with the Turnigy AE with some custom settings and the Hobbywing Platinum Pro. But again, we're focusing on this uh, this Turnigy plush because it's it is a really good speed controller. So um, on the uh, in my flight videos, uh, I found I ran uh, this is my new favorite prop for three cell. Uh, this is the Gemfan Flash 6042. Uh, you know, it comes in packages of four, so it's it's a fairly inexpensive prop, very durable so far. Uh, touch wood, haven't had any issues with it. So this has been really, really good on all three of them, and on the bench has tested, uh, on the bench and at the field has shown the best performance uh, on 3S on high timing with all three of these motors. Um, with the um, on 4S uh, with the all three motors, I did run the uh, 6x3 EMP or RC timer. Uh, six by three electric sport prop. It's all, also sold at Hobby King as a TGS and uh, Banggood as a KMP. So uh, runs really well with those. And uh, actually, um, the versatility of this 2406 2600 motor, uh, I've also run it on 4S with this uh, King Kong 6040, which is a really, really inexpensive prop. It only cost me about 25 cents a prop, but that was with this. Uh, turn a GAE but you know the motor uh, handled it just fine so you should be able to run uh, this actually has a higher burst it has a burst rating of 55 amps this only has 50 amps so uh, I, I don't foresee any problems whatsoever running this prop on 4S and then you know if you want to just keep that in there for 3S and 4S and you don't have to change props Okay, so let's talk, uh, you know, some prices. Uh, obviously, uh, my favorite sort of setup is the, uh, the GEP RC 2306-2750 and the Hobbywing Platinum Pro 40-amp uh, uh, speed controller with some custom settings. Now, that's not an inexpensive setup. Uh, the motor is normally uh, about $23. Uh, these are all American prices from Banggood. Uh, and the speed controller is around $40. Uh, now I should add the Hobbywing, I just recently found out that the Hobbywing uh, Platinum Pro, and I don't unfortunately seem to have one laying around here on my bench, but anyway, it doesn't, uh, Banggood doesn't seem to carry that one anymore. They do carry one, but it's a, it's a, it's a different speed controller uh, than the one I use. The, the Hobbywing, if you, Platinum Pro, if you were to cut the, uh, the heat shrink off, it looks identical to the, uh, the Turnigy Plush uh, 40 amp speed controller. Uh, that's about $40, but uh, I will put a link down below. I have purchased that one from a vendor on eBay for around the same price. So anyway, long story short, that's about $63 just for motor and uh, speed controller. Uh, so that's, you know, that might be a bit much more than what folks want to spend. I will say that, you know, it is faster than, uh, than any of these combos. So, you know, if you just wanting to squeeze as much speed as you possibly can and you're willing to spend a few extra bucks it's hard to go wrong with that setup however uh, you know this Emax uh, Emax 2306 2750 motor especially really really good performance I was really really uh, pleased with it um, and right now uh, uh, Hobby King as I shoot this video Hobby King's actually out of stock their regular price is $21.99 uh, so Add in $24.39 for the speed controller, that's about $46. So you're saving $17 bucks there. Uh, right now it's on sale. This one in black at, in the 2750 KV size is on sale for $18.99. So you can pick that up for $43 uh, you know, for a $20, $20 saving. And the difference in performance is not $20. It's, it's very, very close. Uh, you know, so uh, save yourself if you want to save yourself 20 bucks. Uh, you could you could pick up this this motor at Banggood and this speed controller. Uh, unfortunately, they seem to be out of stock with them right now at uh, Hobby King as well. But that's a really really good uh, combo. Uh, so the B rotor is a bit cheaper. 
So it, you know, if you're if, again, if you're really on a tight budget, uh, the B rotor and Turnigy plush motor is a cost about forty one dollars. Uh, now, if I'm being honest with you, I would uh, you know, if you can save up a couple of extra bucks, go with the uh, go with the Emax. But if you have this laying around, uh, you know, or you like to buy stuff from RC Timer, this is definitely a, a good choice. I mean, there's not, I don't have any way to, to measure the exact speed, but this is pretty darn close. I would say on 3S, it was closer to this motor uh, than it was on 4S. And on 4S, with both these two motors, I also ran the, uh, this, I ran the 6x3 EMP, but I also ran the Azure Power 5150 uh, carbon prop. Uh, I didn't run it on the Racer Star. I just think the KV on the Racer Star is probably a bit too low to really get the best advantage out of uh, on 4S. I think you're best to run either the 6x3 EMP or the uh, King Kong uh, 6040 on this motor on uh, 4S. But uh, that's that's just my opinion. I haven't really seen it at the field. So if you're trying to keep things within a budget, because these carbon props uh, are more expensive. Uh, and you wanted to run a three blade prop because if you watch my videos it does sound pretty cool when it gets wound out on on 4S with a three bladed prop. This is the uh, Gemfan Hurricane uh, 51499. This is my, uh, I recently did a video on my review of five inch quad props in my park jets and this is my favorite uh, polycarbonate prop uh, and probably favorite you know overall if you're trying to save a few bucks. So uh, Gemfan Hurricane 51499 on these two motors on uh, 4S should work uh, just fine. Um, yeah, so there, there we go. So it's uh, 40. The, let, let's actually talk about um, now the Racer Star. If you're, you know, you're really trying to save uh, some money on a setup. Uh, right now, it's uh, it regular price is 12.87, so about 13 dollars. So you're looking at, you know, uh, around 37 dollars. Uh, but it's on it's currently on sale for just over eleven dollars, so about thirty six dollars. And this is an extremely uh, you know if you're not really wanting to go out and scare the living daylights out of yourself, this this racer star I've just been super impressed with it for the performance that you get out of it for the money and also the versatility. Um, like I'm um, you know I've tested all kinds of props on it on the bench and at the field, and it's just a really versatile and durable uh, motor so if you you know you want to kick up the speed a little bit but you don't want to scare the limb daylights out of yourselves uh, self this uh, and you you know you need to save a few bucks this racer star is uh, is definitely the uh, the way to go um, so yeah just by a little bit top uh, top with this speed controller is the emacs 2306 2750 uh, this is my original motor uh, that I first bought. I've put hundreds and hundreds of flights through this. It does run hot, uh, uh, you know, with the, the props I mentioned on 3S and 4S with this uh, on high, but I've run uh, 35 flights through it now. And, uh, you know, again, I haven't been kind to it, and they both just keep running as uh, strong as can be, so uh, good there. Uh, slightly less uh, powerful. Uh, is the B rotor, uh, but again, it's a very durable motor. It is a little bit heavier uh, by about two grams, but uh, you know, again, it's you're trying to save a little bit of money, or maybe you have one laying around. It's it is a good motor. I've run it, run it a lot. This was the second motor, second quad racing motor I ever tested. I get this one from uh, RC Timer. So, excuse me. So uh, that kind of wraps it up, folks. Uh, like I said, this. Um, this baby, this uh, Turnigy Plush 40 amp speed controller, is uh, you know it's a real beast. Um, the the back that's in it is I've never you know touch wood I've never had a problem with uh, with any servos losing power or anything like that. It has a super reliable back, and like I said, I know it's very popular. A lot of people have it, so yeah. So give it a try. Uh, you can get these uh, programming cards. From, uh, from Hobby King, which I'll, I'll have a link to uh, if you're interested. It makes changing the timing, like changes it in no time whatsoever. Uh, I do have a video on uh, showing how to program things with this card, 
but also they come with a really good uh, manual. You can just do it through your uh, transmitter if you want to change the timing. But, you know, like I said, the biggest advantage on the high timing is, uh, was throttle response I found at the field. Um, numbers wise, not a real big difference in thrust and amps and watts and things like that, but definitely better throttle response uh, on the high timing. So uh, I hope that that's been helpful to you. Um, I also uh, want to shout out to Ground Control RC. Uh, he's kind enough to send me this t-shirt quite a while ago when I started working with him on his uh, uh, F-22 Mini uh, version 3 project. Uh, he has also been instrumental in uh, you know, get, getting me um, uh, thinking and motivated to do some of this testing as well. Uh, I'll have links to all of his uh, uh, YouTube channel Patreon and Facebook uh, down below. So um, there you go. Uh, you know some great ways to to squeeze some extra power if you have one of these old ones laying around like I do. Um, you know a, a selection of quad racing motors here, uh, and to save yourself uh, you know a few bucks, you don't necessarily have to go out and spend the 63 bucks on a, a Gep RC Hobby Wing uh, Platinum Pro. Uh, to still have a heck of a lot of fun on 3S and 4S. So, uh, thanks, thanks as always for watching. Please, uh, uh, like I said, check the uh, comments down below. There'll be or the video description down below. There'll be lots of links there. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.